And now a film review, uh, unannounced, but I might as well do it now, uh, from Canada. Uh, and it's a bear horror film called Backcountry. It's uh, on limited release, and I've looked through the schedule, and I can't find Australia as one of the countries that it looks like being released in. Um, it came out in March in America, and coming out bizarrely in August in Canada for some reason. Um, it's directed by Adam McDonald, who's a TV actor mainly, and I can't find the information about him directing another film, so I'd say that this is his debut. Um, it stars very few people indeed, Missy Peregrim and Eric Balfour, as who used to be in 24, the series 24, one of the most prominent characters in that. Um, and it basically follows them on a camping trip in Canada. Um, it's loosely based on the true story of Jacqueline Perry and Mark Jordan, uh, when you look into that story, uh, they went camping in the count country of uh, back country of Minnesota Lake Provincial Park, North Ontario, in 2005. Uh, their attack is very different to what happens in the film. Everything sort of reversed, but that sounded really horrific. Um, he basically jumped on this massive bear and was attacking it with his penknife while it was eating his girlfriend, and he managed to fight it off, but um, tragically. She died, um, and it doesn't get much happier from there. Basically, it stars those two, uh, the guy who officially wins Worst Boyfriend of All Time Award, um, takes his girlfriend into the woods uh, where he was familiar as a child and takes her to some remote beauty spots in order to propose. And unfortunately, he is... Um, it's a, as a movie... I mean, basically, there's not much plot. They go into the woods and are stalked by a bear. I mean, that's pretty much the whole film. There's not much point in, in talking about that aspect of it. But it really reminded me of this British horror film called Eden Lake, uh, which is fantastic and terrifying. Um, probably a better film than this, certainly a more disturbing one. Uh, and that had then-unknown Michael Fassbender going, taking his girlfriend to uh, a remote lake and unfortunately, the people next to their camping ground are a bunch of very misbehaved youth. And the altercations spiral out of control until it turns into a horror movie. Um, I would have given Michael Fassbender one of the worst boyfriends of the year awards for that one. He's got nothing on the guy in this film, Eric Balfour, who it's, it's almost like it's half or more than half Eden Lake and, and Into the Wild as well. Because he's got a very sort of um, romanticised view of the wilderness. Um, he refuses pointedly early on to take a map with him um, because he has this idealised view. And that reminded me of the, the scene in Into the Wild where he refused to take a map with him. And what I love the most about this film is the way the, the dawning reality of what's happening He's got this childhood memory of going into the wilderness where he was obviously looked after by, I have to say, more capable adults than he. And he gradually finds out that he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know the directions the way he thought. He doesn't know how to deal with things the way he thought. And for a very long, probably two-thirds of the movie before it really gets nasty, it's a slow-burning building dread. Uh, which has to do with the environment and the fact that this guy has taken his beloved out as into the wilderness as her protector, but he doesn't have the skills to do it. And as they progress through, they barely bump into anyone. There's a very uncomfortable sequence with, uh, I think, Nicholas Campbell, who plays um, a, a bit of a asshole, to be honest, um, who bumps into them in, in the woods. And he, he's very threatening, but in a very subtle way. Uh, and that kind of amps up the, the building terror. But after that, he just does everything wrong. And his arrogance won't allow him to do the most simple things. And his poor suffering girlfriend just gradually gets more and more fearful, particularly when things start creeping around at night around their tent. Um, I can't, obviously, you can work out what that thing creeping around at night is. Um, and after the hour of tension has built up when they're thoroughly lost, and being lost in the wilderness must be one of the most terrifying things because in every direction you look, there's the same thing. Um, where do you go? Um, but then after the hour mark, all hell breaks loose 
when the bear does attack, oh my god, it is pretty terrifying, pretty gut churning what happens. And from then on, it is just a roller coaster to the end. And it's done well. They don't have enough money to make all of the, the bear stuff work, but it doesn't really need to. I mean, when she hear bone, bones being cracked because they're being eaten by a bear, that's enough. You don't need any more graphic than that snapping sound. Um, and it is, it's exciting for its last third. What really amazed me about this, if it is a first-time director, he does so much right. He gets the mood, the nuance. He gets the terror creeping into the movie from other things that are happening, such as meeting people who are slightly scary on the way. He does a lot of things right as a director. He shoots it well. There's some B-grade dialogue. It is a B-movie, really. It's an indie horror film. Uh, some of the B-movies' dialogue and acting is a little bit subpar, but not too much. And I believed in the character. I can imagine doing something so stupid myself. Um, so I thought it was beautifully shot. Um, the lead woman in it, Missy Peregrine, is, I thought, really good, and she goes through the ringer in this film. Um, it's terrifying. I, like, I don't know what it is about bears and bears eating you that I find, obviously, it's terrifying, but it's even worse than sharks, even worse than crocodiles for some reason. There's something so primordial and frightening about bears. Um, so Backcountry is a small film, but if you want a, a good shocker and something that will have you covering your eyes, at times during the last third, uh, I would seriously recommend it. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 for Backcountry.